Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate! In this episode we are going to make Vincenzo's Plate Tiramisu. This is definitely my favorite dessert and I'm going to show you in this episode the way I make this magnificent dessert. I grew up eating my mom rich tiramisu and I'm recreating the tiramisu my way. So what do we need to make Vincenzo's Plate Tiramisu? We need five extra large eggs one packet of Savoyardi biscuits. This is a packet of 400 grams. Make sure you get this brand. I've been using this brand all my life. 500 grams of mascarpone cheese. Make sure you get this brand to make the best tiramisu. You can only find those brands at the delicatessen. If you can't find it, just ask for the best product they have. And then three spoons of white sugar, 700 ml of light espresso, 200 grams of milk chocolate and Nesquik. Now get two bowls and let's start by breaking the eggs and separate the yolk and the white of the egg. Then add the sugar in each bowl. Now mix it using an electric mixer. Start with the white and mix it until it becomes creamy. Mm. It's ready. Now let's work on the yolk. Do the same thing with the yolks until it's also nice and creamy. Let's cut the mascarpone cheese in half. Put half the mascarpone with the white cream and half with the yellow cream. Then mix them both for about 3 minutes each or um, until it's softened and smooth. Now it's done. Now slice the chocolate very thin. I suggest to use a big knife and slice it into small pieces or you could grate it into pieces, but not too thin. There are so many fake tiramisu out there and I believe you never tasted a real tiramisu that it actually tastes like an authentic tiramisu. So stay with me soon you will taste it. Get the biscuit and wet both sides in the cold coffee for a total of 3 seconds. Place the biscuit in a medium sized Pyrex or aluminium tray. Let's put the yellow first on top of the biscuit. Mix it. Spread the yellow cream evenly on top of the biscuits and in the edges. Get a spoon to help you to spread the cream lightly, making sure not to touch the biscuits. Now time to add the yummy pieces of chocolate. Just try to spread them everywhere. Now let's get a spoon and put it next week on top. Just like that. Now let's make another layer of biscuits. Mix the white cream with a spoon and spread it on top of the biscuits. I met so many people in my life that don't like tiramisu. Maybe because of the coffee, I have no idea. But once they tried mine, they were shocked. And all of a sudden, huh, tiramisu became their favorite ever. And now let's spread the chocolate on top. The chocolate should be everywhere. The final Vincenzo's plate touch is the Nesquik. Make sure every spot is covered. The tiramisu is now ready, so now let's get the half oil, cover it, and place the tiramisu in the fridge for at least three hours. The 
Tiramisu has been in the fridge for three hours and now we can cut it into portions. So. The first piece always breaks, so be careful. Decorate it by spreading a squeak and icing sugar around the tiramisu. Mm. This is definitely my favorite Vincenzo's plate. Ah. Mm. Mm. Heaven. Well, it's time for you to enjoy now. Thank you very much for watching my show. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate recipe. E ora si mangia Vincenzo's Plate!